Hello everyone. Welcome to manage MongoDB with Puppet. My name is Krishna. In this webinar, I will be talking about how to manage MongoDB with Puppet. At the end of the webinar, we will have a question and answer session. You can use the link at the bottom of the slide to follow. About me, my name is Krishna Prajapati. I am working as a system engineer at Olin Data and uh, exploring other technologies too. We provide open source training and consulting in the technologies like Puppet, Node.js, Linux, MySQL, and Complete LAMP Stack. If anybody is having any issue or problem in hearing, you can post up your message into the chat section. So uh, now I'm, uh, I'm moving to the next slide. Overview. I will give a short description about Puppet. You should have basic Puppet knowledge in order to understand the webinar. In the next slide, I have added few links which can guide you to set up Puppet. And here the topics which I will be discussing is uh, what is MongoDB, Puppet model selections for MongoDB, how to search, install and list the Puppet installed modules. Uh, I will show you the code, how to use the code for MongoDB client and MongoDB server. Apart from that, uh, I will be including other MongoDB management tools as well. So again, I'm moving to my next slide, slide number four. So all of you can find the link, two links below. Uh, it shows that how you can configure or set up Puppet Master and Agent. And the second link shows that how to set up Puppet Server on CentOS 7. Uh, this is the latest technology, the closer technology, uh, 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 which is used in Puppet Server. Uh, it is pretty fast. So uh, this is uh, uh, only recommended for production environment. Going ahead, Puppet is a configuration management software based on Ruby. The new Puppet server is based on closer technology. Uh, the uh, Puppet version uh, up, uh, ahead from 4.0. It is designed to help system administrators to automate many repetitive tasks performed regularly. It defines and enforces the state of your infrastructure through the software development cycle. It ensures consistency across your infrastructure. Puppet scales very well from one server to 200k servers. The average Puppet enterprise seen from 300 servers to 600 servers. It supports multi-platform environment like Windows, Linux, Mac, BSD, Solaris. With the strength of multi-platform, it is widely used and adopted. Puppet is an open source product, also available as commercial offering from Puppet Labs as Puppet Enterprise. Uh, Okay, I'm moving to my next slide. What is MongoDB? 
MongoDB is a cross-platform document-oriented database. Document-oriented uh, means uh, it can, the data structured can be semi-structured database. It's not uh, uh, like a relational database. And the data is stored in a key value store format. MongoDB is also classified as a NoSQL database. The database is stored in JSON-like format with dynamic schemas. MongoDB call the format as BSIN. Uh, MongoDB is free and open source software. In addition, MongoDB also offers proprietary licenses. First, it was developed by a software company called Tengen. Now the new name for Tengen is MongoDB. MongoDB is one of the most popular NoSQL database. So going ahead, uh, I'm moving to the main features of MongoDB. The first feature of MongoDB is document-oriented. MongoDB is a document-oriented database. For example, instead of storing title and author information, in two distinct relational structures, title, author, and title-related information can all be stored in a single document called book, which is much more meaningful and easier to work with. I am moving to the next feature of MongoDB, that is ad hoc queries. MongoDB supports search by field, range queries, and regular expression. The another feature is indexing. Any field in the MongoDB can be indexed. It's the same concept similar to those in the RDBMS. So any field can be indexed. Even there, uh, we have an option for secondary index too in MongoDB. The another feature and uh, one of the important feature of MongoDB is replication. MongoDB provides high availability with replica sets. A replica set consists of two or more copies of data. The primary replica set performs all writes and reads by default. Secondary replica sets maintain a copy of the data on the primary using the built-in replication. Uh, it is one of the high availability features. In case uh, the primary goes down, the secondary can take up the jobs for all the reads and writes. Uh, it's configured in that way. So uh, this is uh, one of the most important features of MongoDB. Another feature of MongoDB is load balancing. MongoDB scales horizontally using shredding the user choose a shred key which determines how the data in the collection will be distributed the data is split into ranges based on the shred key so the another feature of mongodb is aggregation map reduce can be used for batch processing of data and aggregation operations uh, including group by. Apart from that, it is available as open source software and uh, uh, on for many multi-platforms, for example, Windows, Linux, Macs, and Solaris. Uh, it is one of the component of widely used LAMP. There are many companies who are using MongoDB as the, as the backend for the applications. It scales very well. I am moving to my next slide. So everybody feel free to put up your questions into the chat sections. Feel free to ask whatever questions you have or you can raise your hands too.
puppet model selections. Before setup of MongoDB, you have to select the appropriate modules for MongoDB. So the site available for this is fog.puppetlabs.com. Uh, let me take you to the site. So uh, here is the site fog.puppetlabs.com. And uh, here in the search section, you can uh, search for the MongoDB. It will list out all the community modules available as well as from the puppets available modules. So here you can see the list of modules for MongoDB. See, uh, it's a big list. Here in this list, uh, normally you should go with the Puppet Labs modules. Those are thoroughly tested for n number of platforms, rigorously tested. So uh, there will not be any issue with the Puppet Labs modules. So uh, uh, it is uh, recommended that you should use Puppet Labs modules. Since the Puppet tool itself comes from the Puppet Labs uh, as well as the modules, they can combine each other very nicely. Uh, here you can see the number of downloads for uh, Puppet Labs MongoDB. This one is the highest. See. So whatever operations here we are doing on the GUI on a browser, the same thing can be done using the command line interface. So let me move to the next slide. See. See here, uh, uh, it has been shown using the command line interface. Simply you have to type the command puppet module search MongoDB. And uh, here you can see exactly, notice searching the link. You can see that it is searching the same link what we have opened into the browser. So here it comes with the name, description, author and keywords. So here again, you can see the MongoDB modules from Puppet Labs. So this is the recommended one. Uh, here uh, I have a question from Yogesh Malkoti. The question is, can we have MongoDB installed on Windows platform? Yes, it can be installed on Windows platform too. Going ahead, so uh, here you can see the name descriptions, authors, and keywords. Uh, I'm moving to my next slide. Install Puppet modules. So this is very simple. You have to use the command Puppet module install and the module name from the previous list. So uh, here you can see the names. So this name can be used uh, for installing. Here it is. So module install Puppet Labs. So what it is going to do, it is prepare, download it from the same site, what I have shown just before, and it will install. While installing, it will also check that what are the dependency modules required for this MongoDB and it will automatically include those dependency modules also. So here the dependency modules are to Puppet Labs APT and uh, Puppet Labs is a stdlib that is the standard library and APT is for the uh, re repositories. So these are the two additional modules required for 
MongoDB. Yeah, here, and uh, let me show you this Puppet Labs module. So, uh, so this is on the site, this MongoDB modules from Puppet Labs. So here you can again see the command is available over here. This, you can simply copy it down and uh, run it on your command line. This will do the job. Apart from that, it shows all the other related informations too. What the version it's going on, the recent release, and the very important section is over here. This is the readme file, the dependency. See, these are the two dependency. So uh, before going ahead, uh, it's better to check the dependency compatibility. So you are very sure that it's not going to create any problem. And it is thoroughly tested for these are the environments, Red Hat, CentOS, Debian, Ubuntu. So it's a good check to do. So I'm moving to my next slide. So uh, after installing the modules, uh, if you want to see what are the modules which has been installed along with MongoDB, you can use the uh, command puppet module list. So uh, it will list down the installed modules. So here are the three modules installed, which we have did it in our previous slides. I am moving to my next slide. If you, anybody have any question, please come up. I'm here to answer your queries. So, so here uh, into the readme section, it gives you the complete guide how you can use this module into Puppet to get MongoDB up and running in few minutes. So here is the overview, module descriptions, how you can start up with the MongoDB. So uh, basically, Basically, you can include MongoDB servers for default installations. So this will install MongoDB server as well as the client. Yeah, let's back to the slide. Yeah, so. Uh, Whenever uh, you are trying to install MongoDB or any other tools, uh, it's always recommended you should use the repository provided by the packages. So uh, that is the most and the most recent and updated repository. The repository which comes up with the Linux is not up to date and uh, is not recommended for production use. So therefore, uh, you should use the recent repositories provided by the tools. So here, uh, this is the global setting. So uh, this is the MongoDB global setting. So it's class MongoDB global settings manage package repository true and version so by just adding these two lines the first line what it's going to do it is going to add the mongodb repository to the linux and another uh, line version says that this is the version which needs to be installed on the operating system so uh, it's really quite clear and very easy so there are some more options available into the 
MongoDB Globals. You can take a look to the readme sections of the MongoDB module. So uh, this is uh, very necessary, you should use this. So I'm moving to the next slide. MongoDB client. So, so here is the syntax for installing client. So class MongoDB colon colon client is going to install the MongoDB client on the requisite systems. So uh, it is pretty easy. You can uh, do it in a very short duration. I'm moving to my next slide. Deploy MongoDB servers. So uh, here is the syntax for for uh, in deploying MongoDB server. There are uh, two options available to you. The first one is the class MongoDB colon colon servers. This option uh, should be used whenever you want to customize the configuration settings. Uh, for example, if you want to change the port or you want to change some other parameters. So this is the most uh, recommended way. The other method is include MongoDB servers. So here in this include one, it will take the default options, all the default settings, and uh, it will install accordingly. So it's up to you. And the recommended way is to go up with the first one, class MongoDB servers. So there you can exactly mention the log file name, authentications name, port name. So uh, uh, lots of uh, options will be available to you for. So uh, there is a question. Uh, from Vijay Kumar Jain, what does before MongoDB servers means? So, uh, Vijay, it is uh, just uh, It is just uh, uh, available. You can just uh, take a look into the modules, readme sections of the modules. So it it is basically will help uh, for the path. So uh, whatever the MongoDB servers and the options are available can be accessible. Yeah, I'm moving back to the slides. So uh, here I talked about uh, class and include functions for the MongoDB to deploy MongoDB servers. So uh, I'm moving to my next slide. So uh, creating MongoDB database. MongoDB database can be used this is the provider mongodb underscore database and this provider can be used to create and manage database within mongodb so the syntax is very simple mongodb underscore database the provider the uh, products here the products what has been shown here is uh, is the mongodb database with the ensure present we are making sure that it is present and uh, tries we are setting it to 10 this that's a default so uh, during the mongodb startups it takes some time uh, that's why we use to this tries options whenever the mongodb database size is huge it takes times during the startup i'm moving to my next slide
देर इज अ क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम भगवती भारानी कुमार डज दिस रिक्वायर सेपरेट यूजर क्रिएशन एज ऑर्कल इन लिनिक्स ओ एस भगवती एक्चुअली वेन एवर वेन यू आर गोइंग टू इंस्टॉल दिस मॉन्गो डीबी डिप्लॉय द मॉन्गो डीबी सर्वर्स इट विल ऑटोमेटिकली क्रिएट्स द मॉन्गो डीबी यूजर यू डोंट हैव टू क्रिएट अ सेपरेट यूजर लेट मी गिव यू द माइक्स टू यू हेलो भगवती Yes, I can hear you. Yeah. Yeah, you got it. Yeah, uh, I got it. Yeah. So uh, it it comes as a package uh, of all uh, prerequisites, right? Right. So whenever we are going to deploy the, uh, let me show you. Yeah, whenever we are going to deploy the my uh, MongoDB servers. so uh, this will install the mongodb servers along with the mongodb client and this will create the requisite users too so you don't have to do it additionally it will take care of it okay okay yeah thank you yeah so here we have discussed about uh, creating mongodb database so in the next slide uh, we will be creating the mongodb users so uh, it's a uh, pretty simple just uh, the syntax are very simple for creating the mongodb users so simply you have to use this provider mongodb underscore user and the user prod is the username so here the username is user prod so we are ensuring it and making it the user to be present and uh, the password section so uh, the password is the password for user prod the database is uh, for products and the roles what we have given is read write and db admin and price again the 10 we have given uh, let me show you the same thing on the readme file so uh, here's the syntax available to you so this is the provider mongodb underscore users so this can be used for creating the mongodb users so the available options are here below username password database roles rights so all the options are available here if you need some very detailed information you can take a look on the module section readme sections of the module it will give you a good guide to you so going ahead i am moving to my next slide replica sets as i talked to you before replica sets mongodb provides high availability with replica sets a replica sets is a consist of two or more copies of data the primary replica set performs all the reads and the writes by default where the secondary maintains a copy of the data of the of the primary using the built in replication functions so uh, this is just uh, uh, high availability features so so uh, this provider mongodb underscore rpl set can be used to create the replica sets it can manage the replica sets so simply you have to add the two lines you have to ensure it to make it present and uh, you have to add the members into the member section so host one colon colon port name so uh, the 27017 is the default port for mongodb so uh, here uh, host also the default port we we want to run here i have only three members are there uh, it's up to you you can add more members to the 
list Uh, there is a question from Satish Kumar. How is it similar to HDFS? If so, how does it differ from Hadoop file system? Uh, Satish, uh, uh, MongoDB also supports a grid file system. So uh, uh, MongoDB can help in uh, managing the files using grids. And uh, Hadoop file system, uh, pretty, I'm not uh, pretty much aware of the Hadoop file system, so I can't uh, give you the correct answer for this. So, uh, the only uh, the thing what I can let you know is uh, MongoDB also supports uh, file systems, uh, grid file systems, so you can take a look on that. Uh, there is another question from uh, Arvindam Ganguly. How the database size will get control using the MongoDB database? Uh, basically, whenever we used to run production environment, we use to add a option called general journal. So uh, that maintains the and control the MongoDB database size. So uh, so that is uh, always recommended whenever you are using uh, for production use. So uh, you should use the general. And uh, it is not by default. It is not enabled. You have to add it to the configuration file and uh, get it enabled. So um, uh, going back to MongoDB replica sets. So uh, these are the host and uh, added to the replica set. The first host is going to be the active writer and reader for the whole cluster. So uh, basically whichever node you want to make it as a writer as well as reader, that should be the first. The remaining two host, host two and host three, host three is going to be the read servers. Also, uh, in case the host one fails, the host two and host three uh, election will happen and uh, one of the server will become the master and take care the, uh, for the operations of reads and writes. And the other one will become the slave. So all the writes operations can be performed there. Arvindam, uh, I will let the details to you by an email. Uh, the next question from Arvindam is how many replica sets can be configured at a time? So uh, I haven't seen any, I haven't seen any limit on that i have used till 8 to 10 replica sets uh, working properly uh, there is a uh, another question for, 
from Amit saying what modules or package is used for replication is it in build in uh, Amit uh, this replication functions is built within the MongoDB you don't have to use any additional tools or software for replication purpose simply uh, let me show you simply you have to use the this features see here so uh, just by using this the mongo uh, replica sets will be set up and it will work properly uh, there are some more settings which you can uh, do it into the configuration part for the replica set I'm moving to my next slide. So uh, here I have a Put the whole, all the codes above I have shown you and discussed together. So, and uh, also I have used the roles and profile features of Puppet. So uh, it arrange and classify the files into a very proper way. For a big environment, this is highly recommended to use roles and profiles. So uh, this is the profile which I have created into this modules directory cat uh, modules custom profile manifest mongo.pp so mongo.pp so here I have a defined uh, class called as profile mongo and in this class I have uh, included this mongodb globals mongodb package repository is called to true and version was called to do the this class global class is going to include the repository comes from mongodb so uh, that is what recommended and uh, here is the appropriate version even if you want to go back to some older version you can put it up over here so uh, that re specific repository will be selected and set up you don't have to do anything at additional apart from this three lines for the mongodb globals yeah in addition to this uh, mongodb globals uh, manage package repo and version there are uh, other options if you want to be very specific here are the options available to you <coughs> see here are the options available for mongodb globals so these are the options which you can use accordingly so package name service name service provider user parents so it's uh, it's up to you and uh, you can uh, install any specific versions what you want so i'm moving uh, so uh, this is the global is done so the next thing is the class for mongodb client going forward here is the code to deploy mongodb servers here uh, i have used class instead of include so uh, class give you uh, an options to give the customized setting whereas include doesn't give you the customized setting options uh, it, it installs the default options uh, uh, it's available. So here uh, I have uh, the, I have used the default port 27017. Verbose is called true. The log file path I have given. DB path authentications for auth is equal to true. If you want the remote users to have the access to the MongoDB servers for this auth is equal to true, I have provided. So there is a big list of options. You, you can check the manual mongodb manual what are the options available as well as the readme sections of the mongodb module uh, 
सो हियर अगेन हियर आई हैव अ क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम रघुराम सो द क्वेश्चन इज विदाउट यूजिंग पपेट ऑल्सो वी कैन इंस्टॉल एंड एडमिनिस्ट्रेटर मॉन्गो डीबी डेटाबेस please let me know the advantage of installing puppet definitely raghu uh, you can install mongodb without puppet also it will works perfectly but uh, the advantage of installing puppet is that you can manage a huge environment very easily Uh, for uh, example you don't have to do the repetitive task apart from that this puppet takes care of whenever any service is stopped it will check it and it will start it also uh, the advantage of puppet is uh, for an example you have uh, somebody messed up your mongodb configuration files and uh, you don't know what settings has been changed in that case puppet is going to work like a charm uh, it has all the settings available in that and puppet runs uh, the default run time for puppet is 30 minutes after 30 minutes it will run and it will check what are the what are the messed things has been done and it will roll back so uh, nobody Uh, it is very very quite safe uh, using uh, uh, installing mongodb with puppet raghu uh, also puppet is a configuration management software so using the same puppet you can manage all the resources on the operating system you can manage resource services packages users cron jobs everything you can manage using puppet so uh, it uh, you have to just write few lines of simple code you i have already shown you the codes the codes are very simple few lines of code and the job is done for you whereas if you are going to install it manually you have to follow n number of things users unzip repository so there is a big list of what you are going to do on each servers and then it will be done with puppet the here is the code and this will do the whole job for you so uh, this is the uh, profile uh, i'm talked about mongodb servers i'm moving to the next slide so here is the mongodb database is being created and this is creating the mongodb users so uh, ram so this to this whole profile is going to do the whole job for you you don't have to do anything else Uh, Raghu, you can uh, just have a look to our blog sections. About uh, I have posted many blogs on Puppet. What is Puppet? How it can be useful? How you can set up? It will be very helpful for you. Uh, I have uh, another question from Arindam Ganguly to install MongoDB. manually in windows system is it possible to use the same code that you demonstrated uh arindam a very minor uh, yeah definitely this uh, uh, a minor adjustment it should work the minor adjustment what i am talking about is is a uh, like uh, here the log path is different for windows it is going to be a different syntax uh for a port verbose it is going to be the same so with a very minor adjustment it should work there should not be any problem
Hallo, Arendin. Hello, I just called. Hello, yes, sir. Yep. Yeah, yes, with, sir? Uh, with minor adjustment, you can use the same code. It should work properly. Actually, the Puppet server yeah. only works on Linux operating system, whereas the Windows has to be the client of the Puppet server. Does that answer your question? Uh, I need some source of uh, process how to do that. Uh, well, you can get in touch with us. Our emails are available here as well as on the website. Into the profile sections, you can get in touch with us. Yep. We will help you. Thanks. Thanks. So, uh, so this is the profile I talked about. This whole profile will do the whole job for you. I'm going uh, moving further. So here is the role, class role, and I have included the profile which I have created above. Include profile MongoDB, and after that I'm uh, using the this uh, role into the uh, for this server. So here into the manifest side.pp you can see that node db 02olindatacom and this role I have included it over here. So what does this means that MongoDB will be installed on this server db 02olindatacom So simply it will do all the job for you. So simply you have written this small sets of code on the puppet master and it did the job for you. Uh, the next thing is uh, MongoDB also have a feature called shredding. So uh, it is uh, one of the good features. Here the data will not be replicated on the, on the servers like replica sets. So uh, this option is uh, very good, good to have and uh, it can be used it. So each server, each node of the cluster is going to have a unique data. So I'm moving to my next topic, MongoDB data. So here I have just shown a small syntax, how does it looks like. So here I am searching the DB. The DB can be whatever DB you use to connect it system.indexes.find. Find Find is the use for looking at the contents of the table. So here in MongoDB, we can use a DBS show, DBS for showing all the database, whereas as in MySQL, it's show database. Apart from that, uh, like in MySQL, we have the tables here in MongoDB, we have the collections. So the show collections command is going to show all the collections available within the database. So here into the another collections dummy data, uh, I'm just listing it the contents. So this is the content and DB system dot index. I am just uh, uh, displaying it into the JSON format. So this is how the tables are retrieved, uh, the contents of the tables are retrieved. So I'm moving to the next slide. So uh, I'm, I'm done with the topics. So these are the upcoming trainings from all in data. You can visit our website. The link is available over here for full list of trainings. So these are some of the trainings listed over here. So here you can uh, visit our previous webinars. Uh, here is the site for you. So we have uh, n number of uh, webinars, recordings available for you. You can just uh, visit and uh, watch it. Uh, it's a list of webinars available for you. So using uh, here in the webinars, we have shown how we can manage other other tools as well using Puppet and how easy it is.
So we are also hiring Europe and Asia based trainers for Puppet. So here is my email ID. If anybody have any queries, you can get in touch with me. Even if you want to get in touch with our consultants, you can, uh, uh, you can get in touch with the details, uh, mail details and other details on the, on our website. So, uh, so let me know uh, what are the other questions are there. Feel free to ask your questions, whatever you have. So, uh, thank you everyone. Uh, here uh, another question comes up like, well, Navin, uh, you can ask these questions. You can send uh, your queries to Olin Data, no problem. We will revert back to you. So thanks everyone for attending this webinar. Get in touch with us for the other upcoming webinars. So we will uh, cover a list of topics, managing other things with webinar, uh, with Puppet as well. So thank you very much. Thanks all of you.